1986, Milton Bradley created a game called Fireball Island. It was in production for about six years. It's a fun game and it's a collector's item and there's many people that would love to have a copy of this game. The problem is the game is expensive. It goes for about $200 to $300 depending on the condition. However, there is a way you can make a complete copy of this game for about $100 as long as you're willing to make some concessions. Here's how you do it. There's no getting around this. You're going to have to have the game board and the box in order to get your complete set. Fortunately, there are people on eBay that sell just the board and the box by themselves. You can usually get a copy of these for about $50. Good news here folks, you can download the instructions for free on Hasbro's site. Here is the link if you would like to do so. There are 9 separate cards that come with Fireball Island and 48 in all. If you wish to buy the cards by themselves, they typically go for about $30 to $50. Fortunately, there is a way you can actually print out the cards yourselves. If you go to the following link, you will see scans of both the front and back of the cards. All you have to do is download them and then use a program like OpenOffice or Microsoft Word to manipulate the cards and create your own. You can use cardstock paper to print out your cards. You can get that for about $5 to $6 at any department store. There are five glass marbles that come with the game Fireball Island. If you're trying to find the original marbles, people are usually selling them on eBay for about $9 a pop. Fortunately, you don't need the original marbles to play the game. All you need are five glass marbles that are five eighths of an inch. The Moon Marble Company on the internet sells tons of these types of marbles. You can typically get a bag of them for about $6.50. You can also go to stores like Walmart or any other type of craft store to see if they have these marbles. One of the hardest to find parts for Fireball Island are the Explorer tokens. Just one of these tokens goes for about $65 on eBay. Fortunately, there are some options if you want to cut cost. There are some people on eBay that will sell substitute tokens for this game. What they'll do is they'll get a 3D printer and will make their copies that way. The quality may not be as good, but you can typically get a full set for about $25. Of course, you could always use pawns from other games. In this case, Dragonology, the game, has some pawns that look like explorers that would work well with Fireball Island. Other people use army men. It just really depends on what your taste is, but you can typically get pawns like this for about five bucks for a set. There are four hexagonal pieces and three types of bridges that come with Fireball Island. Just to try to get all these pieces combined is going to cost about $100 or more. One way to save cost on this is to just buy the substitute parts for this game that people on eBay make using 3D printers. In this case, the hexagonal piece goes for about $4 each, so you can get four of them for about $16. Substitute bridges will go for about $25, and the Volcar Idol goes for about $20, which is a total of $45. Bucks. However, you can save some money by doing this. Legos, baby. You can build a makeshift substitute bridge and an aisle using these pieces. You can buy them in black or paint them if you need to. You can typically get a box of these for about $20. The actual red jewel for Fireball Island goes for about $10. However, if you want to cut costs, you can simply just use a different red jewel. There are tons and tons of these out there. You can go to any craft store or Walmart to get one. If you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.